Hello, my name is Daniel Ceballos and welcome to my vlog. Uh, today is going to be an interesting day. Um, actually, that's not going to be interesting at all. Uh, nothing's going to happen. But um, right now I'm going to go get some uh, chilaquiles for my dad and I. Uh, fed the baby and he's going to watch them for me. And uh, yeah, now we get to grub. It's our turn to eat. So this, yeah, I know. My wife hates it when I don't put on my seatbelt, but there we go. It's on now, I'm good, driving safely. So The Walking Dead premiered yesterday and uh, I haven't seen it yet. I've been trying to stay off of social media ever since last night, um, right before we wrapped. Somebody said that they knew who passed, who died and they kind of ruined one bit of it that not only one person died, but two. You've been, you've involved yourself with these characters for so many years, right? They start to feel like family in a way. I mean, I'm not crazy. I don't really believe that, you know, Glenn's my cousin or something, but I mean, they, they kind of do, right? <laughs> Some of the deaths you look forward to, right? You wanted Shane to die. Of course, we all wanted the governor to get his, but this is one of our own now. And any, anytime one of our own goes, like Herschel got me. Herschel got me good in the way he went out. So tonight, I think it's gonna be on that Herschel level and above. I think some tears are gonna be, sh <laughs> are gonna be shed. I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm also looking forward to it. Awful. <sighs> so I'm kind of wearing this hoodie sweater because I thought it was going to be colder this morning. It is not. some socks for the boy so he doesn't catch cold or anything I need a trash can in here I need a trash can in my room or in this office because they just keep collecting the cups anyways today we're gonna go with Captain America socks <laughs> these are cool socks because they have grippies on there and we only have tile now in that area we used to have um, carpet in our living room but we just removed that um, and so I want to make sure he's covered up and doesn't slip on the tile. Hey Bubba. My dad is awesome with my son. Both my kids. Um, so he helps me out, uh, so I can get work done. Uh, this is my, um, my little studio, it's my little setup, and that's the trash I mentioned earlier. Uh, when I can break, I have PS4. Uh, but this is also the baby's room where he's supposed to sleep, but he doesn't. He sleeps with my wife and I in our bed, which was a huge mistake, because now we can't get him out. If anybody knows good techniques on how to get a baby back into their own crib, uh, please help me out, leave a comment below, and I'd love to read it and try it out. What else do we have going on? Oh, 
there was one thing I wanted to talk about. Alright. So this morning we had the chilaquiles. They were alright. They were okay. Uh, I, it's one of my and my dad's favorite breakfasts. Breakfasts? Breakfast meals. And we, we go to different places trying to find one. And we're always trying to find the best. So far the best ones that we have ever gone to has been... Um, Gloria's over in Azusa on um, Gladstone and Citrus Boulevard, right next to the Pizza Man there. Fantastic chilaquiles. Uh, if you live in that area, try it out, go get it. But that is a half an hour drive for us now. We currently live in the Rancho Cucamonga Upland area. Um, so we're trying to find the best ones out here. And we've gone to a lot of places, and so far, I think the one that's only that's come close to Gloria's out here is Elvira's. But we like variety. Sometimes we don't always want to go to Elvira's. And by variety, it's so funny. I mean, like, I, we always eat chilaquiles. I'm not... <laughs> it's not like we're trying out different kind of breakfast. Um, although we do have different breakfasts. We don't always eat chilaquiles. Just with my dad and I, that's a, that's a thing that we do. But if you know of a really good chilaquiles place... I, I'm gonna keep asking for comments, man. I put those comments below because I want to. I want to go visit that place and find out uh, who has the best chilaquiles. All right, so that'd be a great one. Other thing I wanted to talk about today. Um, I know this cup is like the size of my head, pretty much. When you get a cup this big, uh, you don't have to fill it all the way up with ice. People that work at restaurants and you know, please. Please stop filling it up all the way with ice. Unless it's tea, something that has been brewed and needs to be really cooled down. This much ice? You're just you're just trying to jit me out of a drink. It only really takes this much ice. It only really takes this much ice to keep your drink cold. Okay? And it won't melt. It'll be fine. It'll be there till the end. Alright? But come on. And in and out, you're the one that's worst. You're, 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 you're the guiltiest of them all. Stop trying to jit me out of my drink, man. That's why I pay the extra to get more drink, not more ice. Come on. All right, look, on the plus side, I guess, and if I wait in a couple hours, I'll have some, some ice cold water. <clears throat> I would have been fine now. If I had more drink in here, but no, there was more ice. <laughs>